Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How oh, I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you're the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did.
Bex, are you seeing this? Yeah, it's weird. An anomaly of some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I can reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is. Wake, my love, wake! Soldiers at our door! They've come for you! For us! Let them take me! I have no more fear! Let me air my wrath in the courts! They'll kill you before they let you speak! I'll appeal to the council! They must know what the Mad One has done! They're upon us! Now is not the time!
Vex. I'm closing in on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I got the data. Here it comes. I think it up. Then you Her ears and listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here, Doc. The monasteries will be well guarded. Ah, by nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager.
No racing the sail here. Strike of the tune. We need an epic tale. I know a crazed More man sail. about my age called Roku. We are taking. the rodent for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Rokur seduced another man's wife. That man called a Holmgang against Rokur. Rokur accepted the Holmgang, and on the agreed upon day, he laid out 12 of his axes and asked, Which of these will I use to slay you? Will it be bone splitter? He said. My bearded blade inscribed with. Hush now. Oh, the monastery. Yeah. Hey, look. look there. A monastery. Oh, I stand ready. Only say the word. All sure. Take what you can and be swift about it. Or we slay every last man and take all the time we need. Should we be so lucky? For Gunner, but if there is more, we should claim it.
Showing soon. This was a good day and some fine work from all of you. We should return home and unload everything. Are you certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. What's your count? My count? Dang, I have no need to count my kills. They number too many. Likely story, Wolfkist. Me? I killed 26, I think. Nah, there were barely a dozen when we arrived, dog. No, no, you missed them. They attacked from the forest. Let's have a song. Let the sail out! You may not know this, but Ragnar Lothbrok once asked me to lead his early assault on England myself. This would have been eight, maybe ten years back. It's hard to say. The winters blow into one another like a great white fog. But I remember as if it were yesterday. Ragnar appeared at my home unannounced. Naturally, I welcomed him. He had traveled a great distance only to see me. So I poured him ale and fed him bread and listened as he talked. He was feeling anxious about his journey, leading so many men into such a great war. It was a burden he could not handle. It was then, with tears wetting his lids, that he said, Dog, teach me the art of war. Lead us to England and to victory. But I shook my head. Ragnar, I told him. I have two weddings I must attend soon. Were it not for these, surely I would help you. Ragnar bowed his head. Thank you, dog, he said. Though you will not be on my ship, you will be present in spirit. And that is enough. <laughs> Up there. Kill. This one's mine. 
Thanks, the gods favor you. Never a moment's peace. Give me a hand! We have the advantage! Going to smash you! Look 
Keep alert. Oh my God. Many thanks. For me. What trouble? Aid me, be my eyes.
done here and have earned our rest as much as our spoils. Need to I was roll hoping we might get another raid What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Can't raise the sea. More sail! Sing, my ravens. You Salskulls got a story. There was a woman called Nal who came by ship to Fornberg and heralded. Demanding to meet King Sigvald, Styrbjorn's father, Nal was from Gautland. She was tall and rugged and strong, and everyone who walked near her said she smelled of men's blood. When her message was sent to our king, Nal was made to wait a full day. Yet she did not complain. She watched the waves and sang songs. 
Night came and went, and still Nal sat by the shore of the fjord, singing her songs. She skipped rocks with children and smiled. As the afternoon of the second day approached, King Sigvaldi's messenger reappeared together. At last, the messenger stood back and waved to some men nearby. Three men bearing three chests of silver approached quickly. They set the chests of silver in Nal's ship and stood back. Then Nal stepped forward, swinging a large, bloodied sack before her. Nal opened the sack and emptied it on the shore. Seven pairs of hands tumbled to the ground. Nal then mounted her ship and sailed away. Pull up here! We can continue later. <laughs> Back so soon. This is wonderful, Aver. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Vornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. Aver, what brings you to my humble shop? What is it you do here again? If you need weapons and armor enhanced or adorned, that's what I'm here for. What have you got for me today? You are looking powerful. I have to go. See you soon. Fight well, Eivor. This we can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the rivers of England. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one.
I would like to reorganize the crew. Found who you needed? All right, bring out my lieutenant. Can you remind me what you do here? If you want to deal with your raiders, you come through me. I'll make sure they're ready for you and keep them in fighting shape. I must take my leave. So long. With my blade at your side, all will fear our wrath. Join your blade to mine. Let ring the sword song this day. I do miss the rattling of luck bones. Yes, or luck. Join me? Let's begin. I am pretty good. Do not say I did not warn you.
Interesting. This will do. Go easy on me, will you? It have been anyone's game. Are you going to walk away now with your head hung in defeat? Let us play again. Another round. Interesting.
This will do. Blows from that now, stranger. This will do.
corners, you know. What a defeat. Stings to lose so bad. I've had enough of this. You look like you know a thing or two about dice. Tell me about what you do here. If you need something tattooed, you come. But of course, no shop, no tattoos. I'll see you later, friend. See you later, Hefor. Hi, Tham. Now that you and Basim are settled, what will you do? We have work to do, starting in the cities of England. London, Jorvik, Winchester, all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kjotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do.
This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranvi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. I hear a heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More oh, riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we're climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! Hide them! Hide them! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see? My faith grew stronger than my fear. And that loam cushioned your fall. Eivor, I have not seen this side of you before. Do not feed your fear. Conquer it! 
I've seen my death in a vision. It was not here. Not today. Ha! A perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vicar and a perching of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all Hidden Ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join, but that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The Order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless Jarls and bumbling Thanes, Yet look more closely, and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranvi about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, Search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hytham. For all of this.
Can you remind me what you do here? When you eliminate any member of the Order of Ancients, bring their medallion to me. It will help to keep a tally of how many still live. I have to go. Then go in peace. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. So long. The Saxons break their kingdoms into smaller territories called shires. This one is called Leicestershire. It isn't spelled how you think. And as you suspected, the sons of Ragnar moved there some months ago. We know for sure that Ivar and Upa are alive and well in Repton. Excellent work, both of you. Now have a rest and a horn of ale. You have more than earned it. Thank you, Randvi. We'll be here if you need us. Eivor, in here! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well, but I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on the wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. messages and requests. A bed better than many I have slept in, and a good place to recover. Much, but it is mine.
ready to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. But, but why now? Doug, please. This must... What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. Admitted, Alvis. I am the superior wordsmith. Admit to a falsehood? I would promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable would be a great boon here. I'll see what I can do. What is it you do here again? As a stable hand and a gameskeeper, I am happy to help you with any matter concerning your horses or your raven. But for the moment, I'm a little stuck. If you could build me a stable, I can set up shop. How did you come to have such an affinity for horses, Rowan? They were my best friends growing up. I was a sickly boy with a stammer, and the horses were the only ones who never teased me. Over time, I suppose I came to understand them as well as you may understand people. I listen when they speak, and vice versa. I'm off. Be well, friend. Bye, Eivor. You really think flighting can compare to sagas, to true poetry? Compare? I think it conquers it. It is quick, clever, accessible to all. It is the art of the masses. What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. <clears throat> You see, flighting is simple, so hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh, and, um... Lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? All this is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order.
Ah, there you are. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leatherchestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. And what's more, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with contacts of his own in the cities. I added his information to the map if you would like to know what he has discovered. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. Hytham asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asks that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. Tell me more about Leatherchestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. Tell me about Grandebridge. A force of day. We should curry fa- My scouts did not- I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. What have you brought for me today, Eivor?
Förum að brjóta eitthvað. Off we go. Can't raise the sail yet. Sing us a song. Who'll share a tale? You might not be aware, but I am a man with considerable shipbuilding craft. In my youth, just 13 winters old, I designed an improvement to our dragon boats. One that gave them extra strength. It is so common now that none remember my genius design. But at the time, I was praised from the top to the bottom of Norway. I had been out sailing with my father when we hit a rough patch of ocean. Our boat trembled like a frozen skeleton. We nearly broke to pieces, but I was not afraid. I was transfixed by the ship itself, watching it bulge and heave. As men screamed around me, I devised improvements to keep the hull solid and shapely. When we returned to port, the men vomiting and weeping around me, I shared my ideas with my Jarl. I need your eyes, my friend. Ships used my new design and... Not the gods for our smooth passage here. from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned. Hold on, good What's scout. What's that? A barracks of some kind? A story from... Be my eyes. ...to be learned. A message to be gleaned. Often my father liked to take me on hunt. This upset me. I was only a boy, but I had the dreams of being a man. So one winter, my father asked me to perform a bargaining ritual to the goddess Skadi to improve his bow skill and snow sight. With glee warming my heart, I Let's cut a hair and either. sacrificed it to the goddess, asking in exchange of skill and sight for my father. When the ritual was done, my father and I set off into the forest. We hunted all day until night fell. And we slew no game. That night, around the fire, 
I was sullen. My sacrifice had not been heeded. Yet seeing my sad face, my father only smiled. Had you been hunting, he said, you would have killed six fine deer. For Scotty, here's only those who speak to her. Yeah. Oh. Run up the sail! Strike of the June. We'll pick up from there. where you're going.
Must be blocked from the other side. Help me out here!
Give me a hand over here.
Hey, come here a moment. See you, old friend. Survey the area sooner. For un good Oscar Freikin. Monastery there, Eivor. You must row in these waters. Hey, be still. Let's have a song. 
We need an epic tale. We all remember when Eivor gave orders to attack Kjotve's clan in Avalsnes. I knew even then our Fair chance down. at victory was slim. It was a fool's errand. But Eivor demanded we strike, and I am Run not one to disobey my superior. Such is the mark of an honorable man. You all know what followed. We set upon Kjotve's men and were overwhelmed. You lot were captured and fit to be butchered. And Eivor here, carried off to be so- We can continue later. Eivor, look! A military outpost. Drop the sail! Leader. All right, hush now. Where were you? And Eivor here! Carried off to be sold into slavery, a fate worse than a fine death. But there is one fact you do not know. In the initial fight, I came upon Kjotve, cowering in an empty house. He did not see me, and I came with... More sail! Your corpse! <laughs> me out I bow to this but you will not unearth us all you will not dig deeply enough we are both a clot and cancer we sit heavy in water and yet we spread like a river's current are you well why would you ask such a question at such a time as this beneath your words is something of a size unknown a mystery it lurks behind every frail word from your mouth
Cast about this land, my friend.
<laughs> no racing the sail here. Sail out! Sing us a song. Let's hear a story. In the early days of the feud between Kiotve the Cruel and the Raven Clan, there was a mad berserker called Kiar Robo. Kiar had pledged his battle fury to no king or Jarl, and would give his oath only once each winter, for reasons nobody could fathom. One year, Kiar's sister, Thura, was married to Kiotve's brother, Alric. And soon, Kiar was often seen in the company of that clan. But soon after, word came to Kiar. Hold on, good scout. Randy mentioned this place. The last known location of the Summer Army. Hail! What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grundbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Soma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. They just appeared in the city. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yasko Masuma. She bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet.
Looks like Ragnarok there. itself came for Grand Bridge. A great battle raged nearby, whole course. We'll see what else lies within the fog. Show me. me strength. This was a fine longship, fit for a chief. It must belong to Soma. Friend, thank you. You are a good friend to me. Thank you. Is your Yal's corner nearby? Not here. Shoma dragged the Saxons east from her longship to tire them out and lose them in the fog.
Take him to the shelter for warmth. Slap some moss in that gash, and wrap it well. Egil. Egil, look at me. Remember the boars you felled our first day in England? Hold his arms. Nine! Large. And fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah? yeah well, ah! Ah! You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you looking for a friend, an ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients. Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grand Bridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bilna, Galin, leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them, and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Who is this Wickmund? And what does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grand Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grand Bridge? The elder man Wickmund seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grand Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back.
burn long and hot for Right Wolf of the Branch, and guide Soma's gilded warriors home. I know what you must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best, vital to retaking the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder, and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week. I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, we will find them.
Sunen, guide me. Survey the area soon. A group of Danes held captive. your belly. Anything. I'm no use here, not with the wind gone from my sails. You won't be waking. If you would be so kind, I've had quite the day. Look through the fog, leaf. Follow the beacon. Our camp is at its base. We'll return when we've found uh, the others. We'll head straight to the camp and see that everyone's shipshape when you return. What's the matter here? <laughs> yeah. Leaf is a prim and proper. He lives by a strict code of honor, more than most. And builds the best longships I've ever sailed. They're the reason we escaped Grant Bridge alive. He's not the strongest man, but he's wise and canny and hard to pin down. Like a fish. My eyes. He's not the strongest man, but he's wise and canny and hard to pin down. Like a fish wriggling. Wolves. They've surrounded someone. Must be careful. Oh, he's laughing behind his shackles, wretched carrion beasts. I don't deserve this. Leave me. Run. <sighs> Ah! <laughs> 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 
Galen, you look terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, <laughs> ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. And hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. I've set a camp not far from here, marked by a beacon. Go there, Galen, and recover. Eivor and I will find the others. I'll head back to camp, and as I recover, I'll watch over the rest with a care that only Freya knows. Leave and Galen didn't always get along, but they've bonded since we took Grantbridge. Sour blood between them, in a way. Both considered themselves my second, and hated the other for it. But I do not rank my family like I do my horses. Competition can mar the love between siblings for life. It can also bring out the best in people, if the fire is stoked right. What do you see? Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. If my head was in a bucket of water, I'd still know. Feel stronger already. Soma! I knew I heard someone sweeping the hearth outside. We had lit just the bar. They can go starting a new town, in fact. This house being our first. Follow on, Birna. Leif and Galen are safe at the camp we've made. Eivor, you meet us there when you're ready. Thank you, Soma. And you as well, Sambim. Show me. Get back here and face me!
faith favor you, Raven Bearer. Ah, thank you, my friend. Aid me. Be my eyes.
should be cautious around here. The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you lead them forward from this point on. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback, Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's corner. Leif, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Sorma. All as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours. For Grantbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits, and at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp.
Leaf. Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leaf. Likewise, Ava. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. Galen, is that right? That's right. You are Eivor, the infinite fighter, or forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. Then the wolves came. We all have our one day. The day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. You are Birna. And you are Eivor's sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush. Losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, uh, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It is good to have you in this fight, Birna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here, or step on me. And by the look of you, I'd welcome either. Be my eyes, Sunan. Welcome to Elfheimer. If I had my eyes, I would show you its splendor myself. A land of endless mist. Please join me in my daily jaunt through this magical <sighs> land. Trollcurse corruption lurks here. I seeking the wind blew. The dark elves pushed me out. Elfheimer, you say? Have you drunk a seer's concoction? No. I am as blind as they come. However, the light elves guide me through this realm, and I sense it. The path is fraught with delight. Energies the light elves dropped. And at the end, the third paradise. Wind blew. The wind blew. Higher than all the realms. Higher than Valhalla itself. I use the magic balls of Muspel, lit by the Light Elves to guide me. We will see the wind blue together. Please illuminate the path into Elfheimer. Ah. I sense the Light Elves, the luxury of their strong souls. Here they are.
Are you from here? I hail from Zealand. Back at once! Kill! Through the swamps. <laughs> but losing my eyes. Got you. They left me behind. <laughs> Please, illuminate the path into Elfheimer. Your family? Friends? They are back in Zealand. But no need. I have the Light Elves whom love and care for me now. Final leg to this journey. Yes, here. This is the path. The wind blew is across the Swan Road. I can see it. The river steed will be needed to cross. Careful now. We don't want to attract any unwanted attention from the Dark Elves. Oh, how they haunt me. Hey, what? Damn it! You were right about those Dark Elves. Broden! The Dark Elves have returned! Spare them no mercy! Burst their skulls into small crumbs! Cut their large ears off! Please let me find the wind blue! You foul Dark Elves are ruining it! There. That is Freyr's castle. He keeps court in there. Or did. Until the Dark Elves came.
on our land. Not that raving fool again. Need your eyes. Scamper away from me. <laughs> Pathetic. Have your wind blew now, in peace, old Drenger. Ah, yes. The realm is safe. For now. Hey, Drenger.
It's a good long ship, but powerfully ugly. Why is it splashed all yellow like that? Danes and Saxons sailing on the same damn boat. The world is going weird. Have a look, Sunan. This longship is splashed with yellow paint. A quick job. Why would it be painted a different color than the others? This carving references Galen in verse. Great. Thank you. 
Make for the dock. Finn um dir, Gripad. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grantbridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me. And for Soma's loyalty, we fight for her. To the Swan Road. Let the sail go! Sing, my ravens. You Salskjals got a story. Unar the Ugly was an excellent sailor who could pilot a longship entirely on his own. This is why King Sigvaldi kept him around. In all other matters, Save it for later. In all other matters, Unar was a cruel, anxious, and humorless man. He was one of the most unlikable people I have ever known. One year, I recall we had invited some carls from the Ingling clan to dine with us. As we were serving ale, we came to find that we had none left. It so happened that the ale had run out just before reaching oh, Unar's home. This raised in him a word storm, and he accused Sigvaldi of treachery. Every man in the longhouse jeered at Unar for raising such a fuss. This made Unar angrier than before, and he stormed out. A short time later, we heard him yelling through the door of the hall. I set this scorn pole upon the men of Ingling for their dishonor! Hold on, good skeleton. Teams hidden. One on each side of the door. Move when you get a signal and not a moment before. Wakeman must know we're here. As he should. I will reason with him. He will reject. Turn Grandbridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. <laughs> what are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know your bleed those riches dry without my guiding hand. Leave. Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman, Wigman, let's try one final time. Quit Grantbridge. And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life. Ha! I command Grantbridge. I am master here. And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound. Let me give you some advice, old bear. The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. This place is heavily guarded. Now! Dangs of Grandbridge Shire! Green Tech, what's yours? Strike with me! Uh, 
broken ground. Comes Wigman Johnson. No time for that. You must free her first. House. We'll surely find him there. I'm at your side, Grim. <laughs> Raise your blade to me. Fucking try it. No prisoners, no mercy. I weather the last of these whelps. Oh, they take you. From me forever. Come face your death. Heathen eels. Wigmund's is gone. He's gone. Leg-ridden body, feed my fields. Eivor, to me.
I hear Eivor needs men. And by Odin, Eivor needs me. Raid with me, warrior, for plunder, glory, and Valhalla. No sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I have heard this before. That the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me. And the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen... Leif and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. 
Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. I'll do what I can, but you know your warriors far better than I do. Between you and me, my heart is clouded. I love these three as if we shared a womb. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel. And here, a gift, for retaking Grandbridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family.